Hello everyone, this is Liz with another Devikins gameplay video. In today's video, we're going to cover one of the many Devikins play-to-earn mechanics, the DVK pool. The DVK pool is one of the main DVK sources during Phase 1, but how does it work? Players will collect mint seeds throughout their gameplay. Mint seeds are an in-game currency with one purpose, to be earned and used towards the DVK pool. Mint seeds can be collected by several means. Daily chores are a good source of mint seeds. Chores are activities that reset every day, and the more activities you do, the more mint seeds you'll earn, and therefore, the larger your contribution to the pool. Void Adventures, which will be added shortly after the closed beta release, are another good source of mint seeds. And the free pack that can be claimed every 10 minutes has a small chance to drop some seeds. From the main hub, players can see the next DVK pool distribution countdown. The amount of DVK any player earns is proportional to their contribution to that pool. After a pool is distributed, the seed contribution resets. The amount of DVK in this pool is illustrative, and the DVK prize will be balanced from time to time based on factors such as daily active players. After a pool is distributed, players can claim their DVK in their inbox up here. A red dot means that a player has new messages waiting for them. So, let's check how much DVK Goat the Cat earned in this distribution. Also, while we've got you here, let's introduce you to some new mechanics involved in training. Everyone knows that people have different tastes, and Devikids aren't any different. Your little ones have preferences of activities, ones that they like or dislike based on their personalities. An activity is labeled with one of three traits. Rewarding, denoted by a sun icon. Chilling, denoted by a moon icon and challenging, denoted by a star icon. After starting an activity, it's hinted at how happy your devikid is performing that activity. Disliked activities have lesser attribute returns in comparison to ones that the devikid enjoys. Basic needs activities, like sweet donut, have no trait, because which kid doesn't like a sugar-filled snack, right? Devikids are stubborn by nature, and sometimes, based on their current mood, they will refuse to do an activity. The only way to circumvent this is waiting for them to have a different mood. Also, have you ever wondered why Goat the Cat's avatar looks so good? Wonder no more. In the avatar screen, players can use the genes they own in their account to build their avatar as they'd like. And check that out. After a few small modifications, Goat the Cat is even more handsome now. Once more, thank you for watching our latest gameplay video. This is Liz, signing off.